what's up guys it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel today I'm back with a new short movie the name of this short movie is what if Naruto was raised by himself and yeah guys it is an unscripted movie as well now before continuing this shout out is due where it is due so shout out to my boy Jimmy the SA Ties for suggesting me this idea and yeah guys without any further ado let's begin with our today's story our story begins in the forest of death of Konoha Gakurenosato as we go there to see a shed was built there as nobody looked like has lived there aside from animals but we see now that a limping kid has just went inside of it and with a you sigh fell down on a mattress that was torn apart and was quite ugly looking as if some animal has stayed upon it and the kid had blonde hair which was stained in red with his own blood and there was deep gashes everywhere as his blue tired eyes looked up at the ceiling of his own hand-built house as he called his shed as he sighed once more with tears falling through his eyes why me why me of all the people here has to suffer this as you see what happened was the kid again tried to look for a place to eat in the village but nobody would let him eat there and in return all he got was a beating yet again he has been starving for a few days and the cherry on top was that his bones were broken as well and no hospital will heal him the people of this village hated him to the core for some reason and he did not knew why he had no parents he would he as long as he could remember has been on his own he was kicked out of the orphanage when he was younger way too much younger when he was only able to walk barely and after that day he has to be forced to grow up on his own and has to take care of himself and here he was now still tar starving for the fourth day as his tears were falling down as his stomach was grumbling as he hugged himself as he was going to sleep everything will be better tomorrow everything will change the kid thought again as the kid's eyes closed finally until he woke up with immense pain only to see that he was bitten on the leg by a huge wolf who has gotten into his shed and broken it as well as it was raining heavily he cried for help but nobody came and cried in general but that is when something inside of him broke as in the next scene we see that the kid was standing up as blood was seeping out of his body and the dried up blood was washing off of his body as well from his tattered clothes as well as his cold blue eyes were looking down at the said wolf whose head been has been ripped apart from the center a part of his jaw all the way down to its tail ripping the wolf in half as he then said fine if nobody will i will help myself i do not need anybody and after that years of training and error and trial went into his own training regime that he created because nobody would train him nobody would even admit him in the academy where the shinobis were prepared and the kids were sent out in the forest of death to just hunt him down as a part of training and he has killed and hunted down many of the kids to the point where even Jonin's were scared to now venture into the forest of death saying that the demon who has been fully controlled now was living there and that was something true Naruto has become one with his inner demons the ones he has been trying to avoid for so long as you go towards Naruto like any other night, he was patrolling outside as the guards were placed there to stop anyone who would venture inside that forest because it was owned by the demon as they called it. As there stood one of a uh, Jonin who was talking to the other one. Are you crazy senpai? You know that we cannot talk about this. Now this big Naruto interest, usually he would just left but he wanted to hear what was going on. If they were plotting something against him, he wanted to be sure that he was already aware of this. Sensei is returning back. I can't believe that the demon was born from them. That was not the demon, Tenzo. He was Naruto who was born. And yet as Sensei and his wife said, Naruto's soul was taken over by Kyuubi. 
and henceforth he is the QB now. Naruto has sacrificed himself because he was weak enough not to fight. As Naruto's blood was now boiling, his parents were alive and none other than the one who put him in this situation. When are they going to return soon? They have been training for years to train their daughter to kill the demon who has been taken the face of their son. And after he is dead, the proper burial will be given to him. Ah, is that it, huh? We'll see, we'll see. As after that, Naruto ventured away and trained harder than ever for four years to come. And that is when he reached at the age of 13 and the Uzumaki Namikaze family ventured inside as he was resting. As he was sleeping, he sensed something as he dodged. It was Minato with a Rasengan. I snorted and smirked. So you're finally here, huh? Shut up, QB. Today you die, demon, and we'll avenge your son. <laughs> Pathetic. You call yourself the Kage of this village when you can't even differentiate between a human and a nine foot tall Biju. How do you know? <laughs> because I know. Minato, is this. No, it can't be. It's just tricks. Believe what you want to believe. As Naruto then fought all of them and broke their bones to the point where they were hurting and laying on the ground. Well, is this enough of a proof that I'm not a demon? <laughs> Besides, all my chakra was within her, right? As Naruto then had a sickening idea. As he ventured towards Mito and slammed his hand on the seal with chakra enforcement. As the seal was ripped apart as Minato and Kushina in that weakened and broken state washed as the chakra was absorbed again into Naruto and Mito had died because of the chakra exhaustion. There you go. Now I am finally a demon that you claim to be and that bitch of a sister has finally been killed. Now there is your child of prophecy. Go fulfill the prophecy on your own you fucks. Because I am not gonna do that. As after that Naruto escaped and that is when they realized that Naruto was him and not the QB and in return all they got was their daughter killed who they thought was the child of prophecy. And the cherry on top was that after a few years the war began as Madara Uchiha in a Kage summit has declared 4th great shinobi war. A war which resulted in them losing even after combining the forces of the others because all the rest of the Jinchurikis were dead and the Nine-Tailed Jinchuriki aka Naruto Uzumaki was nowhere to be found. As the war was going on and they were on the losing end, Minato's and everyone else, especially the Kage's gaze felt upon Naruto who was sitting on top of a mountain and smiling down upon them. As Naruto jumped and with a single kick killed the Otsutsuki that was about to kill them. You're not allowed to kill them. There was a lingering hope inside their heart that was crushed soon as Naruto said his next words. Because I'm enjoying this. You can torture them as much as you want. Who are you? said Kaguya as she saw that her companion was one shotted by this kid and killed as well. And no karma see was present. Oh, your little tricks won't work on me. Kid, whose side on you are? I'm nobody's side. Why would I side with you guys? <laughs> For all I care, you can all burn and rot in hell. You can torture them as I said, I won't interfere. But as of you killing them this early on, no, I'll start killing you. Oh really now, said Kaguya. As many of the Artsusukis were called there, the miners ones as well. Naruto in an instant as everyone who was on their deathbed witnessed, defeating all of them. And pierced through Kaguya's heart as well, gaining all of her power, as Naruto then said. Now... Shinra Tensei, planetary devastation. As these two jutsu combined, all of them were now in a chokehold as they could not escape. No matter where they run, huge amount of chakra bust has been causing them to be pushed back with an invisible force. And that is when Minato Kushina realized that it was their fault. But their tortureness didn't end there because this was being monitored by Shinigami, the very young goddess that he and his wife had made deal with to raise the kids peacefully until all the mess began and that is where they saw that they were standing in front of Shinigami's throne and there was nothing more than rotting souls underneath it as a glass protected them from falling down. Minato Namekaze, Kushino Uzumaki, you have broken the oath between us and henceforth you'll be sentenced to eternity of hell. Please Sh Shinigami-sama, we were wrong. You were wrong. And I only give one chances. I told you the day I sealed away the Biju and its soul differently. 
but you had different thoughts in mind. Now, you alongside everyone else will suffer. There is a deep, dark pit of hell open for you. Because there are special places in my heart for people like you. Now go there. As an instant, the glass door opened and they were thrown there. And after some time, Nard appeared there as he was now much more grown and had huge amount of scars on his body. Why am I here? Am I dead now? Huh, from the looks of it, it is hell. <laughs> so I finally went into hell, huh? I really have turned myself into a demon. That is correct, Nardo. You have. But because of these people forcing you, that is why you have become what you have become. So I have a proposition for you. And what might that be? Because I as hell am sure that I'm not gonna save anyone from the same treatment if this is going on in any other of the well universes as you say but that is what i'm going to do but not for these people nardo as now nardo was confused then wait nardo said realizing you're gonna yes you're going to go back in time and save yourself and raise it to be a proper child of prophecy but i became the child of prophecy by defeating them by not saving them and why should I save them? They have done nothing. If I save any of the Naruto, I promise you this much, it will only be for the destruction of Konha. That is a small price that we can pay for the rest of the humans who have been innocent and done nothing to you to live. Hmm, that is correct. Because I went to the other villages and they were not discriminate against me and even helped me out when I was on the run. See? Now are you happy that those friends that you have made have died? No. I... I don't know. Listen, kid. This is an opportunity. Not for you, but for your younger self. Because there is a dimension similar to you. And the same fate is going to follow there soon. And I don't want that to happen. Would you want to this to happen to your counterpart, knowing fully well that you could have gone there and saved him from the same fate that you have been through? As Naruto then had began to have flashbacks of the past when he was little and how he had to survive on his own. I... I will go. Good. As Shinigami snapped her fingers, as Naruto was now turned into golden dust as he disappeared. As Kami and Yami walked behind on her throne in, from the shadows. Sister, do you think what you have done is correct? Yes. It is the only way. The next timeline can be saved hmm I see now all we can do is just wait and see what happens as Naruto's eyes opened in the middle of the forest ah home sweet home Naruto said as after buying a cloak from the store nearby because he had still reused in his pocket which was a black cloak and a hood he began to walk amongst the shinobis as he saw that it was the inauguration day of his father so he became a Kage today, huh? As he was surprised what happened next, he announced that his wife was pregnant and they were going to have children soon. I see. So now all he have to do is wait for 9 months. And Naruto then thought for a bit. And heard from his partner. You say they were going to attack soon, huh? Well, I guess now I have a lot of cleaning up to do as well. As Naruto then disappeared and arrived after sensing Chakra from far away there. To see that it was a masked person, Naruto in an instant pierced through his heart, grabbing it and squashing it with his fist. As the man tried to look behind, don't even dare do, said Naruto in a whisper-like tone before his body burned into ashes. As the Zetsu who was watching this, Naruto looked at him with cold blue eyes from underneath the hood and disappeared and appeared behind him. In an instant, a chakra rod appeared from Naruto's palm as his blue eyes turned into purple with Rinnegans as it pierced straight through Zetsu, turning him into ashes because it was Airo Tensei Chakra Rod and Soul Absorbent as well. There, two ones dealt with, now many more to go. As Naruto then looked behind, where the village could be seen properly, now all I gotta do is wait. Wait till... Nine months. And that is what happened, Naruto waited staying outside of the village for 9 months and when the 9th October came, he was preparing for himself. It is now 
in the middle of the night on October 10th that I will be born. And that is when I'm gonna go there. As Naruto then disappeared at blinding speed when it hit 12 a.m. in the midnight. As Naruto appeared in the cave where he saw that the birthing process has happened. And as usual, the QB was unleashed because of the seal being weakened. So even if I change the scenario, the QB was going to escape. Not you, the other one. What do you mean it's still you? Just, just be quiet, Kurama. I'm trying to work here. Naruto said, talking out loud to the Kurama, as he called the fox of his own, who was being grumpy because Naruto was keeping on calling him the nine-tailed fox and so on. Even though they were now close friends and the only ones being alive from their universe, as Naruto witnessed that his father has sealed the whole biju inside of Naruto. Minato, why did you do that? One son is enough to be sacrificed. Not everyone else, to, else has to go to the same fate. I know, you're right, but still, why Naruto? He was the most healthiest looking one. And look at Menma. He's weak. My son will grow up to be just healthy now. And what about Naruto? Naruto will be the village weapon. And that is why I am here. To change that fate, Minato no Mikaze. Naruto said as he still was wearing good. Who are you? What do you want? As Naruto disappeared at blinding speed, but he was blocked by the Anbus. But Naruto instantly bitch slapped them to the next corner of the room. As now he was standing in front of Minato. As Kushina decided to use her adamantium chains to grab him by the arms. And Naruto decided to humor them. He could broke out of them any moment he wanted. But he didn't. As the hood was pulled back only to see a mixture of both of them standing in front of them in an adult form. As he looked at them with cold blue eyes. Who are you? <laughs> Take a long guess, and you'll finally understand who am I. As Naruto disappeared, using his Rinnegan's ability to stop Minato in his track with the adamantium chains as he grabbed the young Naruto. I'll be taking care of myself from now on. As after that, he disappeared in a Kamui dimension, never to be seen with their child. Where is Naruto? Find him! Said Minato. Who was that man? Minato, look, there's a drop of blood down there. As Naruto has left that knowingly to let them know who he was. As after that, we see that Kush Kushina, who was also a little bit of expert in the DNA as well as medical field, she tested it herself and only to find what was more shocking than ever. The blood matched their own samples in the history books of Shinobi. How can this be? Do you have? Yes. As after that, they tested it again and again and it only confirmed their suspicions. But how is that possible? And why does he look like them? Wait, Minato, you forgot what he said. What? I will take care of my own self from now on. You mean that was... Maybe. There is a high chance that that might be Naruto himself from the future. But why would he come from the future all the way to the past? Just to take himself away. Maybe because of what you have said, Minato. But I didn't say that. It's the Jinchurgi's job to protect its village and Naruto was going to be nothing more than my son. I didn't want this to happen to him, neither did I, but what you said has misinterpreted to him, so that is why he was waiting for your answer, until he said that is when he attacked, I believe. I know, Kushina, but still, I... No matter what has happened, said our old voice, it was Ruzan Sarutobi, all we can do is now find him or this son of yours from the future. He isn't to be allowed here because one person from the future in the past, he's here for one thing and that is to change the future. And that could be devastating for us or catastrophic. Hi. As they were now aware of what was going to happen, so they were searching high and low for both of their sons from the future and the past, their own. And not only that, they were taking care of Menma as well. As we go towards Naruto, who was taking care of his younger self. Hmm, so in this timeline I have a brother instead of a sister. What a surprise. He's gonna be a jerk when he grows up as well, I believe. <laughs> but luckily enough, I was able to take care of your whole self, Fox. You should be happy. Ah, oh, shut up, kid, said a grumbling voice. Oh, come on, please don't be like that. You know I was kidding. You know our job isn't finished yet. It has already begun just. 
I know, Nard said getting serious, looking at the village. My main goal is to destroy Konoha and to make sure that the young Nard sees what his parents wanted him to be. It, this could have been a misinterpretation. Fuck it. For all I care, they were going to use him as a lab dog and a tag dog as well. Better life than that, right? You are correct. I mean, I can just, you know, give him back and... No, please, stop with this long explanation. <laughs> Never gets old when you and I banter, huh, QB? Yep. So what now? What now is that we hunt down each and every member of the Akatsuki, because regardless of Zatsu here or not, they are going to form together, as Shinigami-sama has told us. I know. Then let us go. As after that, many of the certain deaths happened of the strong shinobis from different villages, which caused a concerning, alarming situation to go on in the village and Akage summit to happen because it happened to every village, even in Konoha, the clan heir to the Uchiha clan has died and his head was cleaved off from his body and placed right next to his body as well. And let's just say in Akage summit we see that all the Kages were so gathered there and they have been trying to blame each other and no do nothing more and nothing else and after Naruto witnessing this went away and grabbed what he wanted to grab. A kid called Gara, who has suffered much weight uh, because his village gave him up. Even after becoming their Kage, they just wanted to save their asses and threw him under the bus the next moment they got. So they wanted to save him and next was an unfortunate soul, Fu, who has been going through hell a lot. And Naruto wanted to protect her as well, because he was failed enough to save her, the only friend that he had in his previous life. And the final one in his final days of training as well as the woman who sacrificed herself, his big sister, Yujito, while protecting him. He was going to get her on his side, no matter what. As he finally found her where she was, it was in Kumo. And he did this while the meeting was going on. Because of his extreme speed, he was able to tele teleport from different villages since he has already went there in his own timeline. As he finally arrived in Kumo and went inside with the kids behind him. As in his arm was his younger self and the, in the other one was Fu. Gara, who was little, was still standing behind Naruto and following him silently because he was saved by... Naruto when he was about to be beaten again. As there in front of him stood Yujito, similar to his age, as she then said, Who are you and why are you walking inside our village with these kids? As her senses then heightened, you're all Jinchurikis. As Naruto nodded, but why is there two nine tails? Everything will be explained, Yujito. But first we have to go somewhere else, as Naruto then disappeared, arriving at the top of the mountain behind Kumo, and that is where Yujito followed him. What is it? Now explain. Why have you brought three Jinchurikis along yourself, including four now, here, to help you out of this village? Wh why? This village has done nothing more than to respect me. Why should I leave? Because this is all a lie. They will throw you under the bus the next moment they get. I'm sorry, but what do you mean? As Naruto then made a bubble with his hand, a bubble of memories that was that Naruto directed towards her as it went straight through her mind as she collapsed for a bit, only for Naruto's clone to catch her, as that is when she began to realize, Naruto? Is that? Welcome back, Nathan. So you finally realize what is going to happen. I can't believe this. All of these years, and for what? To be thrown away like this again? Where are we going to go, Naruto? I don't want to stay here, she said, throwing her Kumo headband down and stomping on it until the metal plate broken in half. We're gonna go away, far away from here, and start our own village, as we, as you said to me when you were dying. But why weren't you? <laughs> Let's just say I was so far long gone that. I only did nothing more than destruction of the whole elemental nation and watched them being tortured. And that was the most satisfying thing for me to happen. But the Akatsuki have been taken care of. But the one thing that hasn't been is the Otsuzukis that are going to arrive soon. Otsuzukis? Yes. The beings that the Akatsuki were going to revive. 
They are all powerful and strong and claim themselves to be gods, but they're not. I've killed many of them and they are the ones that I'm going to take care of alone myself. Why not us, Naruto? Don't you? No, because they have a special ability even in their death to give curse to others. A curse that I was able to defeat luckily and am now immune to. But you will not be. That is why you're not interfering in this, any one of you. And we're gonna have to raise these two as well. Wait, is that? Yes. This is Fu and this is me. You took yourself from Konoha? Yes, I kidnapped myself. Because in this timeline, the parents were going to do the same in the previous one. But much worse. I see. No matter what happens, it seems that our fate is going to be same. Naruto, either we die or we just survive long enough uh, for someone to find us and kill us. Believe me when I say this, Neitan. In this timeline, nobody will. I'll make sure of that and we'll be able to live a happy, healthy life until we grow old and die. I hope so, Naruto, because I have seen war enough and hatred enough. I promise you that you won't see it anymore, as after that, we see them leave. And that is when the shinobis which were sent from their villages to inform their kages while who were in the busy in the kage summit of what has transpired were arriving at there. As they were now dashing straight towards the room which was council happening, as they burst straight through the doors and said, Rai Kage-sama, Kaze Kage-sama, it's a bad news, what happened? As they begin to inform that the Jinchurikis have been taken away by a person with blonde hair who had the abilities of Rinnegan and that is something that caused them to go into a huge amount of shock and the next moment they were now enraged that how could this happen and then they were scared because there was a Rinnegan user able to defeat their whole villages and just walk away like that with their Jinchurikis as he pleased but Tsuchikage Oniki noticed that Minato was silent there is something that you're not telling us, Hokage. What is that? Nothing. Just don't tell us, Minato, because we're gonna declare a war on you if you don't. Said A. Calm down, A. I don't know what you're talking about. There was something. You look shocked. And from my worth of experience, there is something that you're hiding from us. You either tell us, or we will force you to. One way or another, choose Minato Mikaze. Fine. I believe that he's he's my son from the future. What? They said in shock and denial. You think this is funny? I'm not joking. Do you think I'm laughing at this as well? No. How can he be from the future? Time space. I think if it is advanced enough, he'll be able to transform from time in itself. From one era to the other one. But why is he here? He stole his self away when he was born and he was made the Jinchuriki. Meaning something bad happens to him in the future and the people he has been killing and taking away are also killed and the one he killed might be responsible for it. This explains a lot, said Oniki. Oh, tell us something that we don't know already, said Minato in a cold-hearted voice. We just want him to leave. Leave back to his own dimension because he has caused significant amount of change which could be Great cat catastrophe for us if we don't stop him, which he doesn't intend to. And why should I? Said a voice as he stepped out from the shadows as all of them were on guard. Don't bother. It's a shadow clone. If you want to figure out what has transpired and who am I, then remain where you are. Everything will be explained to you. And what you are. And what do you mean by that? You're, you're from the future. You see, I am, but not from your future. I am from a different timeline altogether. Sent here by Shinigami-sama to make sure that Child of Prophecy is able to prevail. That, that is when Minato realized his biggest mistake. Yes, from the looks of it you're realizing now Minato. Your previous self made the same mistake, claiming that I was a demon sealing the soul away in me. And you know what happened? <laughs> I snapped. And when I snapped, your paths have been chosen towards destruction. And that is what happened when the Otsutsukis were freed. The rabbit goddess brought back, she brought a hell lot of help with her, and you were on the dying end, only save you because I wanted her to torture you all some more. 
<laughs> I enjoyed every second of it. And that is something I didn't want in order to turn into a more broken version of myself. So I saved him from all the hassle. Return my son, please. I know what my counterparts did. It's quite bad, but I, you're no different. You wanted him to be used as a weapon as well of the village. It's an unfortunate truth of the Jinchuriki. And that is something that I intend to change. And what if it can't be? Said A. As Oniki stopped, as Naruto answered him with a smile. Then you all can go to hell, as they did. <laughs> Watching you all scream in agony was such a fun. It always will be. You who threw your stone into the bus for your brother, A. And you, Rasa, who tried to kill his son again and again. <laughs> You know, he was laughing at you with his wife, both of them enjoying from heaven, while you and your other two children rot in hell. And that is why I'm going to change a lot of things. And why am I telling you this? Because what is going to happen to you all is inevitable. Kage is going to find one way or another to break free. And she's gonna attack you. And for all the hell I care about, I agree with her. She should destroy and take away her chakra from you all. But. If she tries to mess with me, I'll put her back into the place. Wait, so you're gonna just l let us be trampled with? Why should I even bother to stop in the first place? If anything, I should help her fulfill her goal. But if it wasn't for... Shinigami-sama made me realize that there are some innocent people out there who has helped us a lot while we were in the time of need and didn't discriminate between us. I shouldn't be here. So, that is why I'm here to save them. And that is something I'm going to do. Also, I declare that I am going to revive a new village. It's going to be called the Light Village. Light because it will illuminate the path of those who have fallen into darkness to guide them. To be starved away from you all and your depressed wars and your ideals. So I am here to say that, fuck you and all of your ideals, you can take them and shove it, where the, shove it where the sun doesn't shine. And if you want to declare war on us, I'll be more than happy to take care of all of you this, in this instant, as Naruto's eyes morph into Rinnei Sharingan, as this caused them all to go into shock. Just because you have the Rinnei gun doesn't mean that you can stand against everyone. I have been standing against in my previous world, what do you think that I won't be able to do so here, because I am... 100% sure that if I wanted to, I can decimate all of you to the ground. As Naruto said with a smirk, smirk on his face, as this caused them all to go into silence. Fine, we won't mess with you, and we won't go after them, but you have to save us as well. No, then there is no peace, we'll declare war. If we're going down, you're going down with us. I thought so much, so here's my gift. Starting with... Iwagakure, as huge amount of earth shaked, as it was like it, it was something was happening to the earth. Was it? What? What is it? Oh, nothing more. Just Iwa erased from the face of the earth. What have you done? Particle. Before he could say that, he was cut in half. Yeah, not gonna happen. As now the other Kages were shocked and surprised. Live the days that you have peacefully. Otherwise, same thing will happen to you in an instant, you all will die. Peacefully, you say. You're gonna torture us and nothing more. You're gonna watch us being tortured the same way it happened in your timeline. To be honest, yeah, that is something that I intend to do. But we will find you and destroy your village first as well. Hmm. <laughs> One thing, I didn't tell you where my village is going to be. And the next thing is that... Why do I care? I alone am able to destroy one village within a day while stealing the rest of your Jinchurikis. What makes you think that I'm tired? <laughs> I'm still talking to you with a clone, aren't I? I have more than enough chakra to destroy all the elemental nation if I want to, and rebuild it again to destroy it again in a single day. I'm not joking or bluffing, as they all were now shocked because they have known that Oniki just died, and not only that, their home was destroyed as well. And they did not want it. The same thing happened to them in an instant. Now, since there are some people in each of your villages that are, you know, innocent, I will allow them to live their remaining days of their lives peacefully. And as for those who are nothing more than innocents, I will protect them. Why are you doing this, son? I'm not your son, Minatsuno Mikaze. Do not even dare 
you called me that. Let her rip your tongue out and shove it back in your mouth. As Minato looked down, I'm sorry what happened. No amount of stories, no amount of apologies, nothing can change my mind. I'm hell-bent on what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make sure that even if something happens to me, your son will be able to carry out the legacy. My legacy, the legacy of Shinigami, the one who you betrayed. As this caused everyone to look towards Minato with wide eyes, you made a deal with the goddess of death and betrayed her? Are you out of your mind? said Rosa, who was the one who kept his calm, as the one from Mizu then got up. It was... Yagura, you are pathetic, Minato Namikaze, and for I cannot believe that I, for once in my life, thought that I could look, look up to someone. And for what? You to go and trample on it and your image? <laughs> pathetic. That's not other than smart. See? This is the same situation that happened to me. And I want you to do one thing, father. Run along with your tail between your legs. Go back to your pathetic village and tell them that within one month their village will be no more in the face of the earth. It will be done by your own child. <laughs> and see what happens. You can't. And my innocent. Please. He's... I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I had a sister back then who was hell-bent on killing me because she thought that I was the reason for all this mess. Regardless of... I telling her that I'm not a Naruto, and even if the QB and I was seen by her as separate, she thought that I was the reason for all of this madness. If I died, everything will go back to normal, and she'll be the little spoiled princess. I was the one who killed her first and took away all the chakra that she was so prideful about. And then, I left you all, and you were tortured, which was quite entertaining to say the least. And let's just say that. I have already faded my memories to your son. He cries a lot in the night. You monster. What have you done to him? Now he's going to grow up knowing fully well to the extent the memories of his parents. The first memories and the last one. Notice of his smile. Because the words you said are now engraved into his mind. And when he comes of his own mind, he will be able to realize that what you wanted from his was nothing more than a soldier. A, s a slave for them to use and throw away. No. This is not right. This is something that we don't want it. And yet you want it. Yet you said these words, Minato. No matter how much you try to deny it, cover it up, there's no changing it. And that is when Naruto left. As every Kage went back to his village to stop, or at least try to stop and fight the inevitable. As Konoha was now in deep shambles. As their Kage's son, who came from the future, was here because he wanted them to be destroyed because of what has happened to him. And they had no one else to blame their counterparts for this. As Hiruzen then said, there's something that we can give him. Oh, there is, said a voice as all of them were now in shock as Naruto appeared there. As his Rene Sharingan eyes were glowing at them. As uh, Rutanbu attacked, with an instant Naruto flicked his fingers as all of them turned to bloody smears and nothing else. Now that's taken care of, Danzo. Explode. As Donzo exploded everywhere. As now Naruto turned towards all of them. If you're gonna charge me with anything, you're just foolish. I'm here to finish what I started. Huh, <laughs> no. What they on them started. As Naruto then transformed into the huge amount of Nine Tail and began to cause havoc and destruction everywhere. But then, next moment, Naruto, who was laughing like a maniac, was sitting there on Okage Monument, which was not destroyed in battle. Hung down were both of his parents with ropes as they were witnessing the destruction. As their child was in the hands of Naruto, please don't hurt him. Even in your death, you still don't care about my other half. You care about him. Huh, <laughs> pathetic. You know what? Naruto did something. As he threw up the kid and with his Rasengan turned him into nothing more than ashes. As Minato and Kushina were broken as they witnessed their final child fall as Naruto began to laugh. As Konoha was destroyed as a huge Bijudama were fired at them and turned them nothing more than into skeletons. As Kyuubi then looked towards Naruto, you know you're a sick bastard for killing the kid who said that I killed him. He's still moldable. He still can be saved. And plus, I always wanted a brother, so why not him as well? As real Menma was brought out. You bastard. 
You even in the end was torturous to them, making them think that you killed their son. Yup. I'm not that much of a heartless bastard. Killing an innocent kid? No. But those who have wronged me in the past and were going to wrong me in the future, fuck them. They deserve at least this much of, you know, pain. I guess you're right. As after that, Naruto took away their son. Unknown to him, Orochimaru was watching all of this, as he has just witnessed what he wanted to do, and now he was enraged. As we see that Orochimaru arrive at his cave and begin the preparation of Ero Tensei. As he revived, first Hokage, second Hokage, third Hokage, and fourth with Mito and Kushina. As Minato and Kushina were now enraged, we are gonna get revenge on him. How much time has passed? It has been five years since the day, you know, that happened. What happened? Said Hiruzen. You were killed before. Try to remember Hiruzen. You'll be able to find your answers. As now Hiruzen remembered. My god, that monster. He is a monster that is needed to be killed. As all of them then arrived, finding out where the light village was, which thankfully Orochimaru has found, and saw what they saw and stopped in their tracks. It was Benma and Naruto who were playing there. And not only that, they were training as well. And an adult Naruto standing above them, watching over them, until he disappeared and was now standing behind them. And from the looks of it, there are some guests here. Why is there so much destruction out there? Like nobody was able to survive. And yet some people were, Orochimaru were, at least, because he hid himself amongst them. At the time, I thought that I will take care of him later on, and then I had to take care of Naruto and Menma. So, I forgot about him. And it, from the looks of it, it was a big mistake. As suddenly Orochimaru was brought there on his knees. You will die, you monster. You caused all of us to die and we are in shambles now. What do you mean, shambles? The elemental nation, they can go and fuck themselves. All I care about is the light village. Where there is only hope and nothing else. Hope for what? Your iron fist? If that is what you want it to be, then yes, it is. You're nothing more than a monster. A monster who at least protects those who are innocent. And not mindlessly kills. <laughs> I admit I am a monster. For what I did. But can you admit? As that is when Ruchimar is to remain quiet. Hakai. Devaluation. As Ruchimar begin to dissolve into nothingness as the other tensei was lifted since the user was killed and they were freed as well thank you i did not do this for you i just wanted to torture you in the living moments and i told you not to with a smirk i will protect innocent and he is innocent i mean come on how can i kill that adorable kid after that minute and kushina with a little smile faded away i thought you hated them of course i did but I had nothing against them to protect their kid. Because they're not my parents. Mine are rotting in hell <laughs> and burning there. And I hope they are as well. Who knows? Who knows? It's not a right back. They enjoy time with his family and his wife Yujitoni, who he has finally gained the courage to marry. As Fu and the young Naruto were blushing and always flirting with each other. As for Menma, let's just say he was happy for his brother. And as for Gara, he as well. And the Light Village, many of the minor villages who were now allied with it, as well as now a part of it, were there, such as snow, rice, vegetable, as well as Land of Waves, who helped Naruto out in the time of need, whenever he needed someone. But he had a goal at the time. But now, his only one goal was to protect them. And that is something that he has delivered and done so. And he will continue to do so. No matter how many astrals or Otsuki come, he will just pummel them to the ground. And if he dies, the next legacy is prepared already. And they are prepared for them. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Ochiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.